What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 6 of my SEO tutorial. In this part we're going to be talking about uh, putting yourself up on Bing.com. Now just like Google you don't have to do this but it can be helpful to uh, go ahead and sign into you know like just for the same reasons you wanted to be a part of Google and submit your sitemap to Google you would want to do the exact same sort of things to Bing. Yahoo and Bing are uh, best buds so actually Yahoo search uh, and Bing are just tied together it looks like. So the organic search listings on Yahoo search are now powered by Bing in the US and Canada and you should use Bing Webmaster Center to do it. So there you go there's your answer and that is straight from uh, Yahoo um, in case anybody wants to check me. Anyway um, so yeah all the more reason why you want to put yourself uh, on Bing. So the way you want to do this, bing.com slash webmaster slash. And if you're not already logged in, you'll have to log in. If you don't have an account, well, you'll need to make an account. Next thing you want to do is add your site. So let's add the URL of my site. Sent that, oops, I can't type at all. Oh my gosh. Anyway, sentex.com, add it. And now you're going to have to fill in all this stuff. You can put your sitemap in here. So let me just copy and paste mine all the way in here. This is a question here, when do you receive the most traffic for your site? Now, you could just say all day if you don't really know. Um, mine would be 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's a, uh, it's most, most of the people use my website for stocks, so 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. is the most popular time. You can put your information in here. Mayamo, Ms. Harrison Kinsley, I'll leave my email there. Job role founder sent a company organization size a million industry financial services contact oh my goodness I'm not putting that in there everybody be calling me from YouTube you have to put any I don't think you have to put any of that stuff in there you just need to put your country of origin uh, United States I'll leave that on for now. I uh, worry of spam, but hopefully not. How often would you like to receive messages? You probably should leave that on too. It'll give you like crawl errors, stuff like that. Oh, here we go. Crawl errors, sitemaps, index issues, malware. That's pretty good because it, uh, a lot of times people can, if you get hacked, one of the most popular things would be to put malware on your site, so that'll tell you. Save. So then here is a bunch of different ways that you can uh, verify that you own this website. So um, definitely don't want to add the C name. You can either upload their little Bing site auth.xml to the web server. And they looks like they want you to put it right there in the uh, keep. So I'm going to do that real quick. All right, I did that. Let's confirm successful by visiting uh, that in the browser. Let's make sure that worked. Looks like it did. So, verify. Refer. Cool. So once you're done, you should find yourself on this page right here. Uh, we've already, basically in the process, submitted a sitemap. Now, I actually have multiple sitemaps. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And for anyone that's curious, uh, it's kind of up in the air whether or not multiple sitemaps is actually of any use to you at all. So I'm not going to cover that in this video. You can research it and decide for yourself whether or not multiple sitemaps is useful or not. So anyway, yeah, I'm not going to cover that. I'm going to go ahead and add my multiple sitemaps at the moment, and then we'll resume. All right, so I've added all my uh, sitemaps here. And uh, just make sure you've added at least one of your sitemaps straight to Bing. Uh, for now, we'll come back to this Bing Webmaster later, but for now, that's basically all I really want to do, just get you set up, started on Bing. You can kind of look through this various stuff. I would really wait until they um, get your little URL submitted, last crawl, and any statuses and stuff like that. I'll wait to really get to that point first. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to do this. 
Also, as a quick side note, Alexa also has a decent uh, dashboard where you can add sites. So I can add my site to it. Um, you can go into it for free, at least, and edit your own site's listing. Um, and then you can also buy various things. And I'm not really sure I would suggest that you pay for any of this. Uh, but you can, um, can only sign up partially for free. So we'll add uh, sentdex.com, continue. And again, you can do the file download or you can add a verification ID. Uh, so you can choose which way you wanted to do this. Once you've done whatever you needed to do, it should give you this successfully claim, continue. And then you can add um, some stuff here. Obviously, they're like, oh, you can't do this and this and this. Um, but at least you can add in some of the stuff. So once you've filled in some of this stuff, obviously just save and continue the process. And then uh, you can add it. Any edits to your site will be reflected immediately. Go to the dashboard. And then over here, I'm pretty sure that's just a image. That's not true. That's not true. Yeah, and that's not true. So anyway, um, so that's pretty much all you can really do at this point with Alexa. All you really need to do is, well, you just kind of want to claim it looks better on Alexa anyways. Um, so anyways, that's it uh, with Alexa and adding your site to Bing. Bing's a little bit more in-depth. I don't think we'll get back into Alexa at all uh, besides just <laughs> doing what we did here. And But Bing, we will get a little more in-depth later. just wanted to get you added. As always, thanks for watching.